Hey, hey you guys, just an update. Um, I'm going to clean this. Started already and I forgot to put the video on. Um, just a, a wet cloth uh, from the from the water. Just give it a rub. Um, just got a little bit. Must have had something. That's just a paper towel with a small bit of soap on it. That just gives you an idea. I do like my equipment clean. I hate anything dirty. Nothing worse than getting it covered in soot and dirt. Um, just had a chat with a friend of mine. Um, and I was telling him how much smoke and soot there was on the bottom of this. And uh, we've come to the conclusion that there must have been something else uh, in that wood. Uh, a preservative or uh, something. Not too sure what, but, uh, but there we go. So, just soap and water to start with. I've generally got some tissue with me. Um, uh, well, you know what you keep tissue for. Um, obviously, this would be at the end of my camp time. If I was out for a week, this would be at the end of the week. I'd do this. Um, I do actually have a, a stuff sack which this goes in. Um, which I could put and clean out if I wanted to in the washing machine, but uh, just to give you an idea what's going on here. So, so yeah, um, it's quite black as you can see. Get most of it off with soap and water. Sounds like I've just had a delivery. Oh, that might actually be my MSR stove. Or MRS stove, whatever it's called. Can't remember. Mountain Research Sciences, I think. MSR. Oh. Anyway, guys, that's more or less it. Roll. As I say, generally I've got something else. Noodles weren't quite as nice as I was hoping, actual fact. Um, I tend to find a pot noodle being actually a lot, a lot tastier. So. I think this was just an idea of uh, cheapness. I think this was just a just sort of see see what you think, try that, and uh, go from there. So I notified the wife that I don't I'm not keen on it. Right. Anyway, let's get back to the auto sun. We don't need a lot of this, guys. Uh, just that more than enough. Don't think I'm going to need any more than that. Let's rub it in. As I say, I do like my equipment clean. Um, it comes from the days of days of the army. You know, being shouted at to keep your clear gear clean, do your bed packs and such likes. Some of, you, some of you guys will know what I'm talking about, some of you won't have a clue. You can only imagine by watching films. But you can see how the auto sole just takes the... Uh, just takes the, uh, the crud off. Uh, let me get, get there. Let's work my way round. Sometimes I do this when I'm out on the trail. Um, sometimes I, mean, oh, I didn't realise I got no camera. Sometimes I do it when I'm out on the trail. Sometimes I do it when I'm home.
I will video this right way through, guys, so you can actually see the finished article. Use the old fingernails just to get the worst of it. Don't use the auto sold inside the tin, inside or in, on any surface you intend to eat off of. Um, it ain't going to do you a lot of good. Let's do the tag more. Actual fact, doing this has reminded me my boots need doing. <laughs> One job leads to another. you guys may wonder why I'm doing this. Uh, this is stainless steel. Stainless steel has got a really good heat transfer. Um, what you tend to find is if it's dirty you're heating up the not you're not going directly onto the metal. You're better off having clean surface. With a clean surface, it will transfer the heat a lot quicker, which will get your food hotter quicker. All right. So this is, you know, probably a bit of overkill, really. But certain things I like clean. One, this is one of them. My food uh, gear and my car, my Jeep. I do like my Jeep to be relatively clean. I don't. It doesn't bother me if it gets mad over on it while I'm out and about. But if you start out clean, it's less hassle to keep clean. As you can see, guys, it's a bit of hard work. Uh, my old granddad used to say, oh, bit of old work didn't kill anybody, boy. Well, the older I get, the, the more I think that's not quite true. There we go. Right, guys, so you get an idea. A bit of water, so one bit of rag. I mean, obviously, I washed it first to get the, the worst of the crud off. Nice clean bit of rag now, just to buff it up. Uh, ain't even funny guys but a lot of God people think my gear is hardly ever used um, but to me it's got to be clean you know every time I go out a good friend of mine says to me God you've got another piece of gear and I say no that's the one I had last time no look at the state of mine and I look at theirs and I think, what well, I say to him, you, you need to look after your gear. You look after your gear, it'll last you a lifetime. Guys, look at that. You see me cook on it, you see how dirty it was. No camera trickery there, just 
good old fashioned elbow grease. And I'll give you a pointer, go through life like this and your life will be good. You know, you'll have a good life. Go through leaving things dirty, the wife will get on your case. There you go guys. So one billy tin. in there but a bit of finger marks yeah as I said don't put that stuff inside and what am I doing <laughs> what a muppet but there you go guys look at that bit of hard work done that's my kit sorted again Looks like brand new again. Okay, that's dead. Now I, I've got to be honest. I tend not to clean this. Um, where are we? I tend to just throw it back in its sleeve. Um, the only thing I do do. I do just give it a wipe, take the worst off. You know, you can use your damp rag. I haven't tried I auto sold in this because I don't know what it would come up like. Mind you, it's stainless steel, so it would clean up. But yeah, I anyone might find out, haven't they? I'm not doing the whole lot guys, don't worry. I just want to go with satisfaction. Well, it will clean. With this, um, so I say, just give it a wipe. It's got its own bag to go in. Um, you know, I might do it. I might do a, a clean up on this. Um, I have actually put this in my dishwasher at home, not indoors. does clean it quite considerably, gets all this crud off, but then again, wife's not, wife's not keen about having, uh, it's like a wart, not keen on having this sort of dirt inside of the dishwasher, I don't know, at the end of the day. Guys, envelope stove, so a full, full three pint three pints, that's UK pints of water. I don't know whether a UK pint and a US pint is different. Um, I know when it comes to US gallons and British gallons, it's uh, it's uh, bloody expensive. Uh, one of my American friends who was over a few weeks back actually stated that uh, he worked the fuel prices out compared with the US And he turned around and said, if you put it in US prices, he's paying $11.98 for a gallon of diesel. As I say, guys, envelope stove. We'll help put the whole thing away. So, done the review on it. Um, it's 
not the lightest thing in the world, but by, by far means it's not the heaviest thing in the world. Um, all I can say is, guys, it's a lot of money for what it is. I think by the time I've got this shipped and everything, it come in around about uh, that's 58 quid, 60 quid, 60 pound. And there's British ones out there that you can pick up for 29.99. And the British ones, I'm not going to take anything away from this because it does what it says on the tin. Um, but the British ones are virtually the same. So uh, I only got this because it was recommended to me by my US friend and uh, he brought it over with him when he came over the previous time so anyway guys take care and uh, i'll see you in the next one